Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle explaining as simply as possible the world around us. This week in 5 Minute Geography we look at destructive plate boundaries and how they can cause catastrophic natural disasters. Stick around to the end of the video for another 5 Minute Geography Fact of the Week. There are three different types of plate boundaries. Convergence, where plates collide. Divergence, where plates pull apart. And finally, a transform or conservative fault, where plates slide by each other. In this video, we're going to focus on convergent plate boundaries. Convergent plate boundaries are formed where Convection currents cause two or more plates to collide together. Convergent plate boundaries are often called destructive boundaries as they cause a lot of damage. There are three types of convergent plate boundaries. An oceanic tectonic plate can converge with another oceanic tectonic plate. An oceanic plate can collide with a continental plate. And finally, and perhaps most destructive, a continental plate can also collide with another continental plate. The type of plate boundary depends on the type of plates that are involved. When two oceanic plates collide, the heavier plate is subducted underneath into the asthenosphere. As it sinks into the mantle, it begins to melt. It usually melts at a depth of 100 kilometers. As it melts, it creates extra magma. Now, within the mantle, we cannot have extra magma. So therefore, the magma must rise upwards through the overlying plate. Eventually, this magma reaches the surface and forms volcanoes. As material from the volcano builds up, volcanic arc islands can be formed. For example, the Mariana Islands in the Pacific Ocean and the Japanese island arc. The zone of subduction, where the plate begins to subduct underneath another and this leads to massive deep ocean trenches. One of the deepest ocean trenches on this planet is the Marianas Trench and it was formed when the Pacific Plate subducted underneath the Philippines Plate. The Marianas Trench is the deepest place in the world at 11,000 meters or 11 kilometers depth. The friction between the subducting and the overlying plate leads to massive earthquakes occurring along the plate boundary. When an earthquake occurs underwater, it can trigger a tsunami, just like we've seen in Japan in 2011. Continental and oceanic plates can also collide. When a continental and oceanic plate collides, the heavier, older oceanic plate subducts into the mantle. As with all convergence, earthquakes can be found along the continental and oceanic plate boundary. Eventually, the magma forces its way up through the continental plate and forms a volcanic mountain. When plates collide, it forces the plates to fold and buckle upwards and magma then is intruded into these folds. We know this occurs where the Pacific plate subducts under the Eurasian plate. A large amount of friction is caused between the subducting oceanic plate and the overlying continental plate. As the oceanic plate subducts, sudden movement releases pressure that triggers powerful earthquakes. This pressure also causes layers of rock at the edge of the continental plate to buckle upwards forming tall mountain ranges. This is currently happening in the west coast of South America. The Nazca plate, which is an oceanic plate, is subducting underneath the South American plate. This has led to the formation of the Andy Mountains. Finally, when two continental plates collide, the continental plates are made of basalt and are strong. When these two continental plates collide, neither plate is subducted. This is because continental plates are too light to be forced downwards. Instead, the movement is mainly upwards. This process is called uplift. As the plate collides, a huge amount of pressure is caused, which forces layers of rock to buckle and bend. As the layer of rock buckles, they fold due to the massive heat produced. At the moment, the Indo-Australian plate is colliding with the Eurasian plate and this has led to the formation of the Himalayas, which are the tallest mountains in the world. The highest peak, of course, being Mount Everest, 
which is 8,848 meters above sea level. As the plate continues to collide, the mountains are slowly getting taller each year, roughly about two to three centimeters a year, the same rate as your fingernail grows. Earthquakes are very common along continental continental plate boundaries. Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, can fit inside the Marianas Trench, the deepest part of the ocean. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like me to cover a specific topic, please just pop it in the comment section below.